Hi everyone and welcome back to the Sims 3 Leprosy Challenge. Now today is part three and I do apologise in the delay in getting this part out to you but I wanted to spend a little bit of time off camera progressing us a little bit. I know it has been a bit slow going early on in the challenge because we're starting just with base game and all she can really do is go to work, come home and get her skills up a little bit. So I thought I'd take a little bit of time off camera to just spend a bit of time working on her skills. So we spent a lot of time at the library reading. Obviously, she was going back and forth to work and we did get her first promotion, which was great. And in between that, we made sure to keep up with our conversations with Christopher and build that relationship a little bit. And he did call her a few times as well, which was great. <laughs> but other than that, we just continued to work on our garden, completing a little quest for the lettuce. We managed to do that in time. And then she started to sell the fruits that she was growing, which was great. Now, eventually we did get a second promotion, which is even better. So we are moving up now. So I was able to actually expand her little shack just a tiny bit, enough to give her a small kitchen to get her started with. Now, the only other thing I did was pop Christopher into Creator Sim, as I mentioned that I wanted to do. I am used to editing him a little bit, so I changed his look just a little bit, gave him a better hair and adjusted the colour just slightly, just so that he is more what I'm used to. <laughs> but I left most of his clothes exactly the same. I think the only one I changed was his athletic wear and his sleep wear, so we'll see that in game. But the great thing is now we are a little bit further along. So if we take a look here, she is currently level three, about to hit level four, hopefully today on her career. So we will be in a position where we can now look at, you know, progressing along with Christopher and preparing for the next generation because she has only got 16 days until she ages up to an adult. So it's the perfect time. And now she's got sort of a, a semi-decent shelter I feel comfortable progressing her relationship and getting them moving along. So I'm hoping what we can do in this part is progress their relationship, maybe move him in, and then we can look at getting him to propose to her and start preparing for our next generation to bring them in. <laughs> Obviously, she's still got more work to do with her career and with her skills, but she is doing really well. We're now at seven with her cooking and six with her gardening. And we're not doing too bad with money. We've got a little bit in the pot, so we're doing okay. So with that being said, I did just take care of her needs, but she does need to go and take care of her garden. She wants to mess about with a sprinkler, but we're not going to be doing that. <laughs> so I'll get her to just quickly sort out her garden before... Oh, wait, you slept really late, didn't you? All right, so she's not going to be able to do much of this this morning because she's got work very, very soon. But that's all right. We, we can do this later. It's going to be full soon as well. Oh, wow. Athena mastered the arts. No, mastered the, mastered the plants. Athena has mastered the plants and has completed the master planter skill challenge. Okay, so she's harvested a certain amount, I'm guessing. Let's have a look. Yeah, so she's... Okay, brilliant. So she's done 19 types of plant. It's an unusual number to have. I would have thought they would have rounded it to 20 or something. But yeah, so she's done that. That's great. Now I might have to just adjust the music. For some reason, I accidentally deleted my settings. So I had to spend a little bit of time kind of going back through everything. Um, let me just move that down a little bit. I'm hoping that's all okay. But yeah, I, I don't know why, but I accidentally deleted my preset in. So I had to go through and readjust my graphics and sounds and all of that. And I'm hoping it's all working OK. But if not, I'll be able to tweak it again off screen. So fingers crossed it's all going OK. Right now, you're not going to have time to do too much of this because I think your carpool is going to be here in about, yeah, about 10 minutes. Let me just see. Have you got any mail today? No, but we've got a bundle of newspapers I need to get rid of. I should just probably cancel this, to be honest with you, but... That's all right. We'll have a read of that one when we get home later. Got some seeds over here. Now, I think we, we did plant something new. Um, Yeah, we've got potatoes now because she leveled up a little bit. We've got pumpkins and we've got watermelon and onion. Those are the only new ones. She can't plant anything else just yet, I believe. We don't have access to the ones that come with Supernatural and stuff like that. So at the moment, that's all she's got. But she's going to have to stop right there and head to work. We do have bills to play later. Is that one dead? Oh, actually, we don't have a bin, do we? We're going to need a bin. 
All right, well, we can sort that out later, but she needs to head to work. So let her head on over to work. I feel like things are not running as smoothly today for some reason. It may just be me. It may just be my eyes being super tired, but I feel like it's not running as smooth. But it could be because I've had to reset the graphics and things. We'll see. Maybe it's just taking a moment to kind of reload everything. Obviously, I do delete the cache files before playing because it does help it run smoother quite a bit. So hopefully that's all it is and we'll be okay when we've been playing for a little bit. Otherwise, I might need to relook at tweaking things. Okay, I just had a heart attack there because it froze for a good few minutes. And I thought I was going to crash, but no, we're, we're okay. I just think we've got some kind of teething issues going on this morning. So <laughs> we'll see. Hopefully it's all okay. But she's going to head into work. Hopefully we're going to get our promotion today. Now, she's not got a day off for a few days, but we will give Christopher a call and see if we can maybe meet up if her energy is not too bad. I'm going to leave her on business as usual because she doesn't need to really work too hard today. I think she's doing okay. Yeah, I mean, she could probably suck up to her boss a little bit and get that relationship up a bit more. See if that helps, but she's, she's doing pretty well, so we're okay. Okay, brilliant. So she's all done with work and I'm thinking we should get our promotion any second. Hopefully. Yeah, there we go. So let me just pause this for a second. So she's now an ingredient taster as well as receiving a bonus of 516. She still works from three to nine. So I believe her hours and days, yeah, they're all still the same. No problem there. Now she did roll the wish um, that she wants to marry Christopher. <laughs> so this was, she first, she rolled the wish about the romance. So I let them obviously go steady. And as soon as she did, as soon as they kissed, she wanted to marry him. So she's she's pretty easy, this girl. She's easily pleased. <laughs> so she does want to cook up, but we've already bought one. So I'm just going to take rid of that, get rid of that, and pop in the improve the cooking because she is going to do that. She wants to befriend all of her co-workers as well, but that one's not worth as much. So we'll, we'll pop that in. All right, why don't you see if you can give Christopher a call and invite him out to dinner? You can see their relationship is really, really good. So they are doing really well. She's pretty much at a full... Uh, actually, let's take him to the bistro. Yeah, while we're here and you're all dressed up ready, why not? See if he wants to come and join you yes. for dinner. Oh, oh. <laughs> Ouch. Wow. Is it maybe too late for him or something? I know. The cheek. All right, let's try inviting him out. Maybe it's because he doesn't want to go to dinner. We'll try just inviting him out not on a date and see if that is better. <laughs> Poor girl. Well, maybe he's just really... He might just be really tired. Let's give him the benefit of the doubt. All right, well, you got all dressed up for a lovely date, but he's probably too tired, so it is late. We, we can forgive him for that. We'll maybe check in with him tomorrow. <laughs> he's going to try and sabotage my plans, isn't he, I think, yeah. All right, everything seems to be running okay now. I'm thinking it was just because of whole reloading the game up after a while of not playing and, you know, having to reset all the settings. I think that might have been what caused the issue. But why don't you pay your bills and have a quick read of the paper, see what's going on in the town, if we've missed anything interesting, and then we'll get you into bed early. Oh, it looks like you've got some gross stuff in here to get rid of. We do need a better fridge. Maybe that's something we should look at getting. Right, so your lettuce is dead. We're going to need to replant that, but I'm wondering if it's worth it considering it's going to be fall in two days, so we're not really going to be able to do much with your garden through the winter. So it's probably not worth it at the moment. Maybe we'll look at replanting in the spring. But cooking is your focus. This is just kind of a side hobby, so we're not going to worry too much. The local hospital boasts it has had fewer deaths in years in... <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> to celebrate, the hospital is having a two-for-one birth deal. Oh, God. Look at the timing on that. Okay, nothing really interesting there going on. Oh, wow. Okay, so you do need to improve your co-workers now, your relationship with your co-workers for your next promotion. But you are at level four now, which is perfect. Yeah, I bet that doesn't smell too good. <laughs> have you got anything left over? Apple pancakes. Okay, well, why don't you have those? Hopefully they're still okay. And then you can get yourself into bed. Oh, are you thinking about Christopher? 
I really love this dress. Um, this is a custom dress. I don't have many custom clothes at all. I, I took a lot of them out. But I do have just a couple and mostly from Bill Sims because he's got some really great designs. So I, this is one of the dresses from him, I believe. <laughs> okay, darling, calm down. Calm down. It's just a lettuce. It's just a lettuce. You have more in your fridge, I'm pretty sure, actually. So we can replant them when we need to. Are they good quality? Outstanding quality. There we go. Not bad at all. We need to get rid of that. So there wasn't anything interesting going on in the town. No more babies or marriages just yet. All right, let her eat this and then she can jump on into bed. Now, when is she actually off? So we're on Friday. So she's got a couple of days before she's off. Maybe we'll take, because she's had a promotion, maybe we'll take tomorrow off because I'm getting a bit nervous that she's so, she's only just over two weeks from aging up. So we really want to get her relationship moving and her household situation moving. So maybe we'll take a day off work tomorrow. She can afford it. Yeah, let's... Um, maybe you need to do that before you go to bed because I want to wake you up to do it. Let's see. Jobs and offer. Take... Why don't you take... Just take the one day because of course you're going to break it. <laughs> uh, all right. You're going to recall the repair... You're going to call the repair technician. Do that first and then we'll call work. Because that's just going to flood your house. And when I say house, I mean little shack. <laughs> but it is cute. It is cute. She will have a lovely home eventually. I've not got room for a double bed, though, at the moment. But hopefully when Christopher moves in, we can, you know, sort that situation out and expand it a little bit. But before we have a baby or anything like that, we are going to have to try and make a lot more room. Because at the moment, it's very, very small. <laughs> definitely not room for a family right get yourself into bed they will come and sort your taps out you'll be fine hopefully you won't you know <laughs> get covered in water while you're sleeping right you want to prepare cat pancakes yeah you probably will make some new ones because i imagine these ones are going to be actually before i cut out to the morning let's see if we can get her a better fridge because she's going to go through them so much let's have a look what other ones oh we don't have many at the moment um, we don't want to waste a lot of her money. 1,200. What's the difference between this one? Six. Mm. Should we go that one? No, no. I'm not going to waste her money because she's really going to need it to expand this shack. <laughs> Especially if she wants to kind of move things along with Christopher. So what I'll do is I'll cut out here and we'll be back as soon as she wakes up. Okay, she is about to wake up, so we definitely need to clear out this fridge. <laughs> I'm, I do want to get her a new one, but I think we're better to wait for a little bit. So she needs to do that. She needs to clean up a little bit. And she has just rolled a wish to move in with Christopher, which is perfect timing. So we'll get rid of that. She is going to learn new recipes, but I don't need to lock that in right now. Let her go and do that. And then maybe we can call Christopher because she's got today off, thank God. So we can give him a call and see if he wants to come out. I did water the plants while she was sleeping. I let them, the sprinklers do it. So hopefully they're okay, but she can harvest them later. Would like to spend some time having some fun. So we'll get her to have a shower and just take care of some of her needs. And then maybe we'll invite him out for breakfast or something. That would be good. Yeah. And then we can hopefully spend the day and progress them a little bit. I'm excited for when they have a family. <laughs> Now, I'm usually, in my personal game, I usually play with one sim and then obviously get them married, family, all of that stuff. But I've not played with big families or many sims at a time or gone through any kind of challenge like this. I've done um, Rags to Riches challenge and a really cool um, farming challenge, which I saw someone had a living on the farm challenge, which I may actually add to the channel at some point because it is a lot of fun, especially if you like the farming and you like the garden and stuff in game. I kind of had like this old derelict farm and you have to work hard to kind of restore it. Almost like you're following the Stardew Valley kind of storyline where you've, you know, inherited this old farm that's an absolute mess and you're trying to, you know, renovate it and build it back up again to make good money. And I did that with a teen um, who had lost her family and it was actually a really fun challenge, but I only played a little of it because I was testing out the idea. So if that's something you'd be interested in seeing, let me know because I think that could be a really, really fun one to do as well. 
Right, come on, girl. Let's get you out this shower. Get your get your needs taken care of, and then we can go and see Christopher. That little picture on the wall is pretty cool. I forget who was who else was in that. Was it Parker? It was Christopher and Parker, I think. Sorry, I didn't mean to zoom on in on you right when you was having a toilet. <laughs> okay, where are we going to go for breakfast? Um, don't know if that one's going to be open. Let's try the diner. Just because it is a little bit more low-key. Maybe Christopher's not the fancy kind. Is he interested? Ah, oh, okay. So maybe he's just not the bistro kind of guy. Maybe he wants something a bit more laid back. So let's do that. <laughs> that is where he met her before and he was super into her, bless him. I like Christopher. I think he seems like a good guy and I think he'll be a really good match for her. So let's let's go and meet him on your bike. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully at some point you will be able to afford a car but not just yet we need to wait a little bit longer get a bit more money going but it's a beautiful day in sunset valley so why not make the most of it and take a day off she has been working hard she has been doing a lot of skill building a lot of working so she, she's earned it she's earned a day of leisure and he's already here waiting so you'll be able to see his new look properly in game don't go in without her, Christopher. <laughs> okay. Um, right, we're going to have to wait for him to come out. So go here. It won't give you the option, will it? Oh, it will. Okay, well, let's do that. Go and eat with him. Oh, no, you're going to have to wait for him. Okay, perfect. But I think he's looking a lot better. He's got a little bit of facial hair now. His hair's got a bit of colour in it, but it's still dark brown. I think it normally has red in it, but I just left it as brown with a little bit of highlight. And I do prefer it. So why don't you have a little flirt with him? Give him a cuddle. Oh, he already finds you irresistible. That's perfect. We'll, we'll do the friendly chat thing and get him to move in after we've had something to eat. But let's get you on a date first. Give him a kiss. <laughs> I think they're really cute together. Oh, they are super cute together. All right, you're on a date. So why don't you go in and have your breakfast? Yeah, go and have some breakfast. Have something nice to eat. And hopefully have a good time. He's not leaving, is he? No. You want to watch a movie? I don't know if there's any going on right now. Let's have a look while you're going in. 12 o'clock. Oh, uh, that might actually work out pretty good timing. We'll see. We might be able to do that. All right. Let's speed them along while they're inside so we're not just staring at the building. <laughs> but they might actually be able to make a movie, which would be quite a nice way to do the date before we progress them. Might as well spend a nice little bit of time together. Yeah. Okay, we just need to wait for him to come on out. Yeah, hopefully he won't take too long. There he is. <laughs> Did you have a nice food? Hopefully. What are you going to do? You want to tell him a story? All right, you tell him a story and I'll go set you up with a movie. Um, We're not going to lock it in because we've got other ones that are worth more. Why don't you go and see... I'm dying, let's dance. <laughs> Sounds interesting. Wow, Alright, go and have a good time. And then we'll see if Christopher's up for moving into our lovely little shack. <laughs> let's see. I'm hoping he goes for it. We're going to have to do the whole friendly chat thing because I don't want her to propose to him. I'm a traditional girl. I like the idea of him proposing to her. Not that there's anything wrong with women proposing. I think it's very empowering and it's amazing. But I like the idea of him proposing to her and her taking his name. But the way the game works, if she proposes, it's going to go the other way. So it will, he will take her name and that will be unusual for me. So yeah, let's, let's speed them along. Let them enjoy the movie and then we'll see how we can get them going. All right. So they are about to come out any moment now hopefully <laughs> and then what i'm thinking we'll do actually she needs to wait for him to come out so come over here a minute and wait for him we're gonna need to get christopher a job as well so he can contribute to the household once he's here 
Did he get lost? No, he's there. He's there. Right, why don't you chat to him a little bit? Where are you going? You are not going to play basketball right now. Oh, he wanted to play? Yeah, a bit later. They all seem to gravitate to this basketball hoop very, very regularly. <laughs> all right, why don't you have a little chat? We need to get you on a friendly basis that you can ask to move in. Give him a friendly hug. And then, let me see, can you ask about his day or anything? Get to know him a little bit. See if you can unlock some more of his traits. Just come this side, because we get a lot of noise from that theatre. Oh! Justine, that's not good. <laughs> right, he still finds you amusing at the moment. We need him to be... I think she need, he needs to find her sociable or friendly. Um, ask about his day. We are getting those options now, which is great. So we should be able to ask him to move in in a moment. Not just yet, but hopefully in a minute. He needs to find her sociable, I believe. It's been a while since I've done this. I tend to go through phases with The Sims 3. I'll play it obsessively for months, and then I won't play it at all for about six months, and then I'll go back to it and be obsessed with it again. And it's been like that ever since I had the game. It's just, I always come back to it. There we go. You can ask him to move in. Oh, he looks so handsome. I love his new look. Okay, ask him. Moment of truth. Is he going to say yes? Yay! He's moving in. Fantastic. Now, normally, when I've... Well, the only time I've played with him before, I've actually moved into his house. But we're not going to do that. For the sake of our challenge, we're going to stick to our little lock because I feel like that would progress us too much and be a little bit cheaty for the challenge that we're trying to do. So we are going to have him move in with us. We will get some money from it naturally. There's no way around that. But, you know, we're not doing a strict legacy challenge or anything like that. We're playing leprosy, so I'm happy to do that. Let's get them in. How exciting. I wonder what job we should get him, though. I would. I know he has... Is it the perfect aquarium or something, Lifetime Wish? He's very into fishing, and I know he's a daredevil. Let me just check him real quick before he runs on off. He wants to do professional sports. Yeah, I mean, that might work out well for him because he is... Oh, he's a natural cook as well. But he is an angler, but we don't have self-employed careers, so otherwise I would make him maybe a fisherman. But with the daredevil trait, I'm thinking even military or sports like he wants would be good. Do you have the military career and base game? I think you do. But I, th I don't know if the timing would be. Should we do professional sports? I guess we could, if that's what he wants to do. Yeah, we'll, we'll let him do that. That's the career that he's choosing. Let him do it. All right, so they're going to head on home. I think she's going to... Is she going to go? All right, let her go as well. Might as well meet him there. You want to give a friendly introduction to Kaylin? Maybe later. Not right now. We need to get us all set up. We do have enough money now to expand the shack because we're going to need a little bit of room for them to have a double bed. They can't both sleep in a single. <laughs> Oh, it looks like we've got some gifts as well. So, Christopher, you go get your career, and I'll get Athena to grab the gifts. What do you have? Hopefully something fun. I haven't actually looked at the gifts we received before. Wow, we've got a few here. So, from Crunchy Piñata, thank you so much. Oh, we've got a few from her. Thank you. Oh, we've got the... Oh, I don't know if it will let us have that because we're in base game, but that's fantastic. Maybe it will stay in the inventory for when we unlock Supernatural and it might just be hidden. I hope so. I hope so. But if not, I'm really sorry, but thank you so much for the gift. Let's send you something back. And then we've got... Let's see. Let's do another one. We've got another elixir. That's amazing. Oh, I can't wait till we get to Supernatural. I love that expansion. That's going to be a really fun one. And I'm really looking forward to World Adventures, which is going to be our next generation. And I'm thinking that we will randomise the traits for every generation going forward. Because my problem is, is I get stuck in a rut with choosing the same traits over and over again, or very similar ones. And I don't really play around with, you know, unusual personality types and things. 
So I'm thinking, you know, I got to choose her traits for the beginning, but I'm thinking with every generation going forward, we're going to randomise it and see what we get. You know, if we end up with a bunch of technophobe slobs, then that's that's OK. That's what we'll have. But I think it will be more fun that way. So we'll do that. But thank you so much, Pinata, for the palm. I love that. That's going to look nice in her little house. Let's send you something back. Thank you very much. And 10 horses, thank you so much. Wow, we've got a computer. That's amazing. We definitely need that. And that's really, really handy. Thank you so much. Let's send you a surprise gift box back. And then finally, I hope I don't say this wrong, Luanu, thank you so much for the gift. And we've got another single bed. Brilliant. <laughs> I don't really want Christopher and her to sleep in a single bed at the moment, but that's going to be perfect when we have a baby. So we'll hold on to that for sure. Let's have a quick look, actually, because I think I was waffling away um, during the other part when we received a bunch of gifts. I didn't actually see what we got. So, yeah, the Supernatural gifts are hidden. I'm hoping that when we do install Supernatural, when we get to that expansion and unlock it, that they will show up in our inventory. I really hope so. But at the moment, we've got a few different things. We've got a rubber duck. <laughs> that reminds me of Landros with his duck farm and the uh, flamingos so we may have to put that out but we've got a computer we've got a bed we've got a gnome and a full-length mirror that's great we've got some good stuff okay we'll leave them in the inventory for now she wants to be worth more than twenty thousand. yeah that's fine he's going to get his career Right, what did you want to do? You want to clean? Yeah, you can go do that and then I'm going to get you to take care of your garden so that you're out the way and I can sort your shack out a moment. So let's do that. I'll get her... Oh, I stopped her, didn't I? All right, you can clean that later. So let's pause this a moment and see what we can do with their house because they definitely need a place to sleep soon. Right, Um. let's see. So we're going to need a double bed... Hopefully, really a separate bedroom because if they're going to have a baby soon, well, not too soon, but going to get them married. So they're going to have their baby, hopefully, so we can get excited for the new generation and see who our little adventurer is going to be. But do let me know, hopefully soon, if you want to go for the whole tomb raiding with world adventures or if you want to try something completely different from that expansion, like the nectar making or photography, something like that. I'm leaning towards tomb raiding because it's been a very, very long time since I've done that. But I'm also really up to trying the Nectar career and stuff like that. I've never done that. So that would be really cool. Or the photography. So, yeah, let me know what you'd like us to do because I definitely want your input and I always appreciate your feedback. So, yeah. But before we do that, let's uh, sort this house out. OK, normally in the future I might speed through this, but I'm thinking because we haven't really got much to work with at the moment, we don't really need to. But the main thing we're going to want to do is kind of create a bedroom. So it's time to get rid of some of this stuff here. So let's start selling some of these weeds and things. So we've got room to actually expand and then we'll actually let me keep those ones a moment and just bring them over here because we might use them still later. I don't want to waste them for the sake of it. Right. Um, how do we want to do this? I'm thinking we need to bring the entrance to our house to the front now. So maybe we just expand out a little bit. Can we drag this? Will it let us drag it even though we've got the shower there? Yeah. All right. How far can we go? Can we go to about here? That would be ideal. I don't want to make sure we don't go through too much of her money. Let's just move this over here. But we want room to make a semi-decent house. Um. Let me see. How do we want to do this? Right. Let's get rid of this, this, this partition. We don't really need that at the moment. So we could come in, have the kitchen area over here, I'm thinking, and a little living area maybe here, and then pop the bedrooms at the back for now. That could work. Maybe we want to bring this forward a little bit as well, actually. So, hmm. Yeah, let's bring this down a little bit. About, we'll do it about here, so we've got room for a driveway and stuff later. Okay, let's see. So kitchen one two three four probably will be enough for now we could probably pop the bathroom behind it i'm thinking so let's do a small bathroom behind it it's probably going to be very boxy for now because we haven't got much money to work with but i think that might be okay yeah that should be okay i'm going to drop the walls down actually for a moment so i can see a little bit clearer what the floor plan is going to look like 
But my idea is to have like a small kitchen area here, maybe a little dining area here, our main living room here, and then we can have a bedroom at the back and a bedroom off to the side maybe. But for now, because it's just her and Christopher, we'll just do them a nice bedroom at the back here. Um, this I'm thinking we want a nice exit to the garden though so we may we could pop a double door here from the living room out to the garden and then have their bedroom at the back here we're going to need like a kind of walkway so we'll we'll do this and then eventually they can have um yeah eventually they'll have maybe an exit out to this side of the garden but for now i think this might be a big enough size how much is this let's see one two three four five that might be enough we want a nice size bedroom because when they have a baby we're going to need to make room for them first of all so let's maybe do uh that might be too big actually go back i want kind of like a bay window i think that could be nice one two three four five is that gonna be we could do it like this um is that too big maybe that's too big actually let's come back a bit let's go we do where's the corner let me just that's going to be one isn't it so that's going to be too small so let's take that off and what i want to do is go up and then have a little bay kind of area so their bed can sit in the bay yeah Right, so we're going to get rid of this one. She doesn't need that anymore. We'll sort the picture and everything out. But let's move the kitchen over here. Um, we'll pop... I think the fridge can go there, yeah. Let's move all this over here for now. Let's see. Um, probably want the sink that side, actually. So let me just move that there. We need to get the toilet out of the way. So just stick that over there for the minute. And we'll pop her shower. I might make the bathroom a little bit bigger if we can. But we'll see how we go money wise. Let's put that in there for the moment. Um, yeah, let's just We'll just stick it there for the minute. Right, let's move her table over here. I'm going to have to... Should we... Um, tell you what, let's extend this a little bit. Give them a new counter. And then I'm thinking we just kind of maybe put it diagonal like this for now. That could be good. Let's just see. Can we move it down a little bit? I don't want it to block anything, but I want plenty of room. So maybe we just do it like that for now. Yeah, that should be okay. Um, right, we want to remove this wall. Because I just kind of want this as like a little nook where they can walk in. They've got the bedroom one side, bar from the other, but it's separate from the living area. So you're not having to access it directly from the living room, I'm thinking. But yeah, I think I want this bathroom a little bit bigger. So I'm going to bring it back so it's kind of in line. Do we want to do it? No, I don't want to do it like that. Okay, let's just... We'll keep it as a box for now. That will be fine. We're obviously going to upgrade this as we go. But we've got to be careful with money still. We don't have too much. Um, We'll put the toilet this side. And we need to get them a sink, actually. So let's do that. Let's get them a nice bathroom sink. Uh, let's go something like this. I'm going to change the colour up though because I don't like that. Let's just make it... We want to go for a normal nice wood colour. Let it load the textures and then we can kind of see what it's going to look like. Thinking that might be okay. Might be a bit... Maybe a bit darker. Are you ready yet? Oh, that's too dark, but we haven't got any lights in here at the moment, so that could be why. So we'll leave it about there for the minute. Let's get a light in here. We just want to stick to cheap at the moment. Uh, let's get a hanging light. Not that. This one is the one I want. Let's just stick with the cheap ones for now. Yeah. So if we go about here... We'll get some windows in in a moment, but at least they're going to have... Hmm, this is not great at the moment. <laughs> well, maybe we'll put that in the middle. No, because... Mm. All right, yeah, we'll just leave it like this for now. Let's get a mirror in there just so they've got a mirror. I think that one will do. 
yeah we'll just copy the wood texture over okay right so they've got the basics we'll sort out flooring and things in a moment um let me just bring the walls back up so we can get a feel for it yeah i think that will do for now we need to get some more lights in here so let's copy this one over and we're gonna need one in the bedroom for sure so we'll pop that there i'll put a little wall light here but let's see if we can get maybe some sliding doors in here so i'm gonna just move this one to the front for a moment i'm gonna face it the other way i think now yeah i think we'll face it that way we need we'll sort the windows out in a moment i'm gonna just put these ones at the back for now eventually i think we'll have sliding doors there but for now we don't really need it so that should be fine um let's get some windows in here though do i want it all the way around hmm no, I think just the four for now will do. And then we'll have a couple over this side. And we'll have a double door there. And then we've got two over this side. Yeah, I think maybe we'll move that along just so it's kind of matching. I need to get a little bin in here as well and then some furniture. But we're doing okay for money. We've not gone through too much. So before we worry about floors and wallpaper, let's get them a bed in here. Now I'm going to miss the Showtime bed because that is the one I normally go for. It's the cheapest but best quality um, when you haven't got much money. So what are we going to do with bed here? We need to spend a little bit because we don't want them having to sleep too long and missing out on the day. They're all very expensive though. 2000 Yeah, We're going to have to go for something cheap, aren't we? Maybe we just get something like this for now. That's six. That's five. Four. Four. Yeah, these are all really bad. Uh, I'm thinking this is probably the best option. So let's go for this. Let me just put it out here a minute so I can kind of see the wood and things while we adjust it. Right, let's sort the wood out. I think we want maybe about here. Yeah, that's that's kind of yeah, that kind of fits. I think that goes pretty well with the wood we've got. So that will do for now, I reckon. Actually, though, this this wood's a bit nicer. Let's try this one. We want it on the actual wood. Not on the bed. <laughs> you can change it whenever you're ready. Is it going to change it? Probably not. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I like that a little bit better. We'll go, we'll go for that. Let's just see if we can get them a decent... Let's change this to white. Okay. And then... Where is that metal? Oh, it must be... Oh, I see. It's the edge. Okay. Well, let's... Can we change that? That just goes there. That's fine. Actually, that would probably be better as wood. So let's do that and just darken it a little bit for the shadow. Okay. Bed in. Um, hmm... Do you want to go like a coral, maybe a teal? Teal's kind of nice. Or purple. I like the purple. Yeah, purple's kind of nice. Or we've got more of like a pinky. No, we, we've got a man in the house. We need to keep it kind of neutral-ish. But I do like the purple. Well, how's red? Oh, wow, that's, that's very red. Let's go purple for now. I think that's okay. Yeah. We've got a nice little bed, so let's stick that in here. Yeah, will these fit in this corner? No. Actually, can I not? If I... Oh, I can just about get it in. Perfect. Let me just see if I can move it a little bit more. I'm hoping they can get to this. Yeah, I'm hoping they can get to this. All right, let me just try and line it up a little bit nice okay so they've got a nice little bedroom here we'll bring this down a bit i don't want it directly over the bed okay let's get their picture in there for now is it gonna okay perfect can we move it up a little bit yeah there we go maybe that's a bit too high actually i'm very <laughs> obsessive with things like this okay we're looking good we're looking good um right i definitely want something in this area so we're gonna need like a little light or something can we just put one of these for now, maybe just to brighten this corner up so it's not too dark? Uh, 
just stick it i would like a wall lamp really because this one's a bit obnoxious in such a small room but i think it should be okay yeah the toilet i don't really like it in the corner to be honest i might just move it to the middle and of course we do need to have toilet roll <laughs> So let's stick that there. Let's get a little towel thing on the corner here. So they've got a towel rack. And we'll just change the colour up. Let's just give it a nice purple as well. Why not? I think that should be about nice. Yeah, that'll do. All right, so we're getting there. She's actually getting a nice little house now. Right, I want sliding doors over here. If we, Do we get sliding doors with base game? I think so. I'm not 100% sure, but let's have a look. Oh, we do, we do. Beautiful. So we can let some light in. Now, can we copy this wood? Did I not ever change the wood on the windows? I thought I would have done, you know. How does this one look? That looks sort of better, maybe. Let me just go up a minute. Or is that a bit too much wood? Hmm. I don't want it to be too over the, the top here. <clears throat> Let's see. Um, this bit here really would be... Ah, this is hard. Let me think. Hang on. Right, that's the light one. So we don't want that. We want to move this one. Maybe make this a little bit darker. Yeah, with a lighter on the inside. I think that's a lot nicer. Can we copy that over? Yeah, I like that. That looks nice. All right, let me just quickly copy this over the windows. Okay. Um. Yeah, let's just quickly copy this round. It won't take a moment. Luckily, without it loading millions of different stuff, the uh, build and buy mode is working okay. Sometimes it can get very, very slow after a while, especially if you're using a bunch of custom textures and stuff that you've done yourself. But we seem to be okay at the moment. It's not taking too long. It's not slowing down, which is great. But right, we do want some more windows over here. So let's grab one of these. Thinking we'll just put, yeah, we'll just put the one there. That should be enough. We're going to bring this one over. Okay. Ah, before I forget, we're going to want a burglar alarm. That's going to take a lot of our money, though. So I probably maybe need to hold off on that for the moment. We still need to decorate and get the floor in, which we can probably just stick to the free floor for now until we've got some money. Maybe we could at least put carpet and tiling in the bedroom and bathroom, though. Let's see. Can I just get all these lights on? Because it's really hard to see. OK, that will do for the moment. Uh, right. Bathroom. Let's start with the bathroom. We just want some plain tiles, I think. What's this one? That's quite nice. Um, hmm. I don't want to customise it too much. So I want something. Oh, I like that. I like that and I like that. Let's just go this one. And then what kind of wallpaper do we want? Again, we probably just want some kind of tile in here. Um, That's a bit too plain for my liking. <laughs> Oh, no. No, no, no. Oh, no. They're all awful. Might have to just do something ourselves. Yeah, I mean, that's not too bad, but I'm, I'm kind of gone off that floor now. All right, let's see. Hmm. There's not really many good ones, is there? That's the thing. That's kind of nice. Maybe with the brown floor. Let's go back and have a look at that brown one. Um, Where was it? We've got the little one here. That's a bit much. That's kind of okay. I'm not really a fan of the tile, though. Not really a fan of the wallpaper. Let's see if we can just get something a bit better ourselves. Um, we've got like a plain one I can put down as a base. Let me just see if we can... Is it not going to let me do it? Yeah, there we go. I was wondering what was happening there. <laughs> All right, let's have a look. What tiles have we got? Tiles and mosaic. Let's see. See if we can find something a bit better in here. Okay, I think I'm just settling for this right now. I found a tile. Um, This one here. 
uh, this orange one and I just kind of adjusted the colors I think that actually ended up looking really pretty I'm gonna save that but the flooring I there just is no decent floors at the moment so I've just gone for a, a tile and a slightly darker look to what we have with the wallpaper I think it looks okay for now it's not great but you know again we can't make it perfect right off the bat we just don't have the money <laughs> so what we're gonna do is just stick a copy of this door over here um yeah we want it there and the same for the bedroom let's just switch that so it opens yeah we want it opening that way don't we yeah okay so we've got our doors we've got everything going on i think we're gonna have to just probably copy the wood at the moment simply because we don't have the money to well, i don't really like that though we've got too much of that wood going on it's just a bit much keep it out there but the bedroom we definitely need something going on i don't want it to just be a block of wood you know Let's see if we can find something to kind of... Yeah, I mean, this might work. So what I'm thinking is we copy... We get a nice... Hmm. I'm really wanting to go like more neutral colours though, you know, like a, a brown, something like that. Let me just try it a minute and then if I do, I might... I mean, we want it probably about... Let's see. Yeah, see, that's kind of nice. Um... Do we want it to be lighter or darker though? Let me just copy this over a minute. Yeah, see, I like that. And then we want the wood to obviously match the kind of wood. Oh, I don't know, actually. I like the light wood. That's kind of nice. Hmm. Let me just get this colour real quick. I want it to match. Right, so... Let's control V. All right, so that's not too bad, but I think that one needs to be darker, you know. It does look okay with the light. It does add a bit of light to it. Or does it look better to have it darker? No, I, I think the light looks better at the moment. Yeah, let, let's go with the light, keep it bright. But I'm thinking, do we really need a big ceiling lamp in here? Because it is a bedroom, so probably not. Hmm. no we do we do a bedroom should have a ceiling light all right now carpet let's just get some carpet in here and then we are we just need to sort our living room out we just want a nice simple carpet nothing fancy i want to make this darker though because obviously it's got to be nice and cozy that looks good to me for now i think do we need to go a bit more yeah about here that looks good okay right that's sorted now living room there's only we only need a few basics just so they've got a place to sit for now so let's get them a, a semi-decent sofa or two i think maybe the little one we have two maybe one here and one over here and then we can have a tv down here in the corner maybe I'll move this along a little bit i need to put the grid back on actually so i can see yeah i mean that should be okay for now should we get them a little tv if they got oh, they're not really got the money for it i don't want to spend all their money hmm uh i think we need to hold off on the tv for now yeah let's not get carried away let's just get them a little coffee table Maybe this one will just be enough for now. Yeah, okay, right, let's sort the wood and that out. Let's quickly do that. Lovely. Let's just darken that edge up. Or is it that one that I need to darken? Mm. I thought that one would go darker, but clearly not. I think, oh, it is going dark, just not very much so. All right, well, let's just leave it as it was. Now, sofas. We don't want it to be too dark. Uh, is that about a brownie colour? We just want like a nice brown leather. But now I'm thinking that will probably be good. Let's just make that dark. I don't want this, the stands to be too obvious. Hmm not quite brown enough is it 
That's a bit too brown. I'm very particular with stuff like this, clearly. <laughs> uh, let's see. That's a bit better. It's still very dark in here, but it is night time almost, so I get it. But I feel like we need a bit more light going on soon. So let me just move this over here for now. At least at least they've got a place to sit. So we're moving on up a little bit. Yeah, it's not it's not amazing, but we're getting there. We're getting there. The only thing I'm thinking though, maybe we want um do we have the lucky door? Because I like that that goat that is a single door, but it takes up two spots. Oh, we do have it. All right. So I'm going to move this along a minute just because I think it might look a little bit better to have that here. And then let's copy this over. I think it has the same. We'll soon find out. But yeah. OK, so let me get rid of that. Are we are we not on day? Oh, we are. On, OK, so we're on night time. Oh, yeah, I need to do the roof in a moment. Yeah, I, I kind of like that because it's bigger. Although I'm thinking we probably want to face the other way. Yeah. OK, so it's not amazing. Of course, we can't really do too much yet. We're running out of money already. So the living room is going to have to stay with this wood right now. But that's fine. At least they've now got an actual house. We've got an actual house. We just need to sort a roof out. <laughs> so let me do that. We'll get the roof gone. Okay, um, right, so we want the, I think, well, do we want the mansard roof? And then we can kind of adjust it. No, I don't want that one. Okay, let's go, let's go this one over the main part. I want to bring it a bit lower though, because it's a bit too high up. We'll add a nice little... Wow, this shack is awful, but you know, we've got to start somewhere. We just need to fix that actually. So let me just do that. Is that right? Was that about right? Yeah. We just need to bring this window in. That's not equal, is it? No, it's not. Let's try that again. I think we need to go this way. One, two, three. It should be here, shouldn't it? There we go. All right. And then let's sort the back out. So we just need to get this one on. And we're going to have to do. How are we going to do this, actually? Oh, we can do it like this. Yeah, that'll be fine. That'll do for now. Oh, I need to just quickly grab the wood from outside. <laughs> Nearly forgot about that. So our little wood cabin is get. Oh, we didn't put windows in the bathroom, actually, did we? <gasps> uh, and we need money for that. All right, let's just stick the one for now. <laughs> right, so here we go. So we've got a nice little, a nice little house going. It's very boxy at the moment. Obviously, nothing amazing. It still doesn't look great on the outside, but. What I'm happy about is the fact that she's now got a much bigger shelter. They've got room to start a family when they get married. Oh, we don't want to do that. But we've got room to start a family now and obviously expand. So it's a good base to get started with. You know, it's not it's not amazing, but it's the best we can do with what we've got for now. That's that's all we need to know. <laughs> I wonder actually if we can do like a makeshift rug here just so it's not so much wood. And just do a bit of carpet there. Um, maybe not that far, actually. Um, yeah, that might be okay. Let me just bring this back a little bit. That that's okay, isn't it? Yeah, at least then we've got something to break up. Or would it look better just to do the whole floor here? No. No. Let's just leave it so we kind of got like a little makeshift rug. Just for the moment. Right, enough of that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I like it. I think it's looking good. We do need alarms. We need a fire alarm. We need a burglar alarm. We don't have any of that right now. But I think for the purposes of getting started here, it, it is the best we can do. So we're going to just leave it at that for now. Let's just bring all this over a little bit. I want it to look 
um, even when it's just a, a you know a crappy little shack <laughs> i still want it to look as nice as possible so let me just get some dirt back under this bin and we just i'm not too worried about that bit but all right that's better now oh i need to sort this bush out don't i i am okay let's can we just chuck these over here we don't want to just waste them for the sake of it so let's just leave them over there her garden's okay we don't really need to do too much with that just yet but we will look at it after probably around the winter maybe we can try and add a greenhouse once she's got the money to but how is christopher getting on with his job has he done it yet christopher did you have a car i did not know you had a car that's amazing all right so looks like we got a car out of that and a couple of books <laughs> from him moving in that's great you want to learn to garden as well well maybe right so running jumping and occasionally climbing trees for the offbeat sports network are all in the job description of the professional athlete you'll need a strong attitude chiseled physical features and a winning spirit to succeed in the league uh, i'm not a fan of sports career you know i think i'd rather see him do the military yeah i'd rather see him do military i don't really picture him as like a sports person sorry christopher i know you rolled the wish for it but I, i'm gonna change it because it just doesn't seem to me like it suits you um you're more daredevilish i'm gonna go i'm gonna go military i think that will suit him a lot better than sports i just i don't picture him as a sports person All right athena how are you doing is your garden getting sorted yeah okay I'll let her mess around with that for a moment. No, I can't believe it. This is looking really nice, actually. Still very dark. I might have to lighten these walls a little bit. But as I said, we're, we're kind of stuck at the moment with what we can do because we're very, very limited on money. But when he comes back, hopefully it won't be too late. I'm thinking he can take her out somewhere nice and hopefully propose to her. And then we can get them ready for the next generation in the next part, which will be amazing. They'll be able to have their wedding hopefully and maybe get a start on practicing for a little one actually it reminds me i need to set up my woohoo mod because i think I, I haven't touched the settings on that and i don't want them to start you know autonomously risky woohooing or something <laughs> which is fun don't get me wrong but we want to have a little bit of control over that in this in this uh playthrough definitely right in the military you'll have the chance to protect loved ones possibly even travel to space as an astronaut You'll need to be in top physical condition and know how to fix a thing or two. Attention, soldier. Yeah, I, I, I think this will suit him a lot more, so I'm going to go military for him. Right, Christopher. Why don't you head on home and then we'll ask Athena out. I don't think you really need to learn gardening, to be honest with you. It's not really going to go with what you're doing. You're not green thumb or anything, are you? No. All right, so we'll get him back. Oh, we've got stuff here we can come and collect. I haven't really done that yet either. That's a good way to make some money. I don't think we have gem cutting or anything, do we? Because it's that supernatural, I'm sure. So we'd have to... Oh, we wouldn't be able to do any of that. No, we wouldn't be able to do gem... Well, we'd be able to send them off to be cut, but we wouldn't really make money from them with consignment and that yet, would we? No. All right, I'm going to meet you at home, Christopher. Let me go check on Athena. She's going to get filthy. Wow, a lot of your plants are getting ready to die. But that's okay, because they're going to die out in winter anyway, so we'll, we will refresh our garden ready in the new season. Right, how's everybody's needs? All right. You answer your phone. I'm going to get her to just finish this one that she's doing now. No thanks. We're, gonna, we're going out on a date. Is she finished? All right, okay. Christopher, come out here yeah i know i know another one is dead it's okay right why don't you give her a kiss definitely need to sort out my woohoo mod i haven't even thought about it yet so you can give her a compliment oh <laughs> and then can we ask you out on a date or i think maybe you need to be ah oh, there you go you can ask out on a date Oh, they're so cute together. They really are. When do you start work? So you've got a couple of days off, which is handy. You do share one day off, which is also really good. 
yeah so because she has wednesday thursday off so he will have one day the same but he also gets the weekend which is nice so you're going to need to work on athletic that's fine okay let's find somewhere nice and romantic for them to go mm, not really much at the moment is there that's the problem maybe hmm where where have we got that would be kind of romantic maybe the plum puddle park area this is a nice, I mean, it's a wedding venue that I've set up. Oh, there's people here having the time of their life. <laughs> Let's let it load on in. This is actually a really nice spot to propose once the textures load in. Okay, let's bring them over here. Go here with your date and we'll give it a chance to kind of all load in while we're waiting. Do you know of any good bars or clubs? Not in this expansion, unfortunately. We've got to wait for late night until we get that. Who have we got over here? Xander. Oh, he's the one that's in our picture. Marty. <laughs> There's a lot of people over here enjoying themselves. No, we're not going to watch a movie. We've already done that. But this is a lovely spot to propose to her, I think. We've got the starry skies. We've got lights going on. It all looks lovely. Right, hurry up and meet us here. Come on. We're waiting on you lovely all right so now give her a nice cuddle flirt with her i know you're tired girl i know but we need to we need to spend some time together you've just moved in oh they are so cute they definitely make a good couple i think i'm happy with that i'm happy with our choice for christopher definitely Give her an amorous hug. Tell her she looks beautiful. <laughs> I love how he's just working out and everybody else is dancing. That's brilliant. Right, can you... Oh, he's... oh he knows her trait. Okay, yeah, he didn't know that. What else can we do? Why don't you make out? We need to get you to the irresistible stage. But look at this beautiful sky. I haven't actually put any lighting mods in. I've never really tried them, but I might do that, actually. You're already making out with her. You want to do it again? All right, do it one more time. Get some points. Why not? How long do you have, actually, till you age up? 15. Is that the same as her? Oh, okay, so you're the same age. That's great. Right, can you propose yet? No. Okay, hold hands. And stroke her cheek. Dude, you need to come out of my way. <laughs> Don't ruin my shot here. All right. I think you should be able to do it right now. Yeah. Proposed marriage. Oh, come on. Like, is that not super cute? Here he goes. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> well, at least she said yes and didn't turn him down like he did for our date on the bistro. How cute! Oh, that is so adorable. I can't. All right, guys, you are now engaged. Have a kiss. We better get you both home. Yeah. Oh, that's lovely. We've got a really nice spot. So we'll send them home. They need to get some rest. I'm going to probably get them, we'll probably look at getting married in the next part, I think, so we can make a really nice day of it, invite their friends. I think she's got a few friends. I don't know about Christopher. Well, she knows a few people, but she's not really got any major friends at the moment. What about Christopher? Does he know anyone? Yeah, I mean, he's got some relationships going, so that's not too bad. He's got a few friends. So let's get them back. We'll get them settled for the night, and then I think we'll end this part here. And then look, hopefully in the next episode, we're going to prepare them for the next generation. So we're going to get them married, let them start working on their honeymoon phase. Because <laughs> they haven't done that yet. So we will definitely be doing that. And I'm hoping over the next few days in game, they can, she can get pregnant so that we can be bringing on the next generation. Because they both have just over two weeks until they age up. Why don't you celebrate? Actually, why don't you do a risky woohoo? It is only a 10% chance. I haven't set up my Risky Woohoo mod. I normally do it about 30%, I believe. But why don't? You know, see if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. 
and then we will let them let, yeah we'll let them do that and we'll see see what happens but it won't give you any music with this mod so you won't know until she starts being sick if it actually works or not so there's only a 10 percent chance that it will but you know it's their their first time together so let them go have some fun now they've moved in together they're engaged they're in love it's all their cuteness oh wow okay that's strange so it's given us the elixirs oh i didn't change his bedtime outfit i thought i did but i didn't wait so it's gave us the elixirs even though we don't have supernatural that's strange i didn't know it could do that maybe it understands that we've got the expansion we've just not activated it all right well i'm gonna put them in the inventory real quick while they're having some fun and we will keep them for when we do have... I don't want to use them now, even if we can. I want to wait until we can use that expansion, because I think that would go against the rules. Oh, hey! <laughs> I just laugh. That's so funny. <laughs> All right. Both get some sleep. You've had a very long day. Yeah, okay. You're going to do it yourself. That's great. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this part. We've progressed a little bit, but the next episode is where we're really going to get going. But now we've got our house. They've got space to start building a family. Not really the funds to do it, but they have, you know, they have a little bit. And with them both working, they should do okay now. But yeah, I'm really excited. I'm excited to, to get them married, to have their baby and see if it's a boy or a girl, who our next heir is going to be and, and who's going to be running the World Adventures expansion. So yeah, a lot of exciting things coming up. But I just want to thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.